You know what I've realized as a as a new fat man when you go like, oh, I've I've lost or I've gained weight or I've lost weight, and then the silence that follows when your friends don't say anything, yeah. it's the most painful silence I've ever experienced. It means in my I life. don't yeah. see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got in trouble once. I. I, I made a reference to because this Afrobeats music is big right now. Yeah. So I said, what, "Is that what you're supposed to listen to?" I think so. The Afrobeats. I don't know. <laughs> you guys were there together, weren't you? No, no, no. no, no. It was a different show. He, I got to do it because he wasn't there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Afrobeats. That's what the cops do. All right. <laughs> Keep but going. Said, it was a Nigerian. It's a Nigerian music, and I said they're not going to be as big because they don't have a star yet, like Sean Paul. And then I said, but I love it. I support it. I'm the first one to ever play it on the radio in America. And then all these Nigerians came at me. Shut They're up. like, your father's dead. Your mother's dead. The and- tall trees need to be trimmed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but are they dead, though? No, because then I So took Nigerians a- are liars. I took oh. the whole... Well, my father is Clip dead. Clip it. Oh. But Nigerians didn't care. They're kill. half liars. Yeah. <laughs> my Nigerians. <laughs> I don't even know if I've been to Nigeria. You can go to Times Square. They sell a lot of purses there. <laughs> <laughs> that is, man, that is, like, what? I, okay, like, like Ari got it bad from the black community. Oh, yeah. With Kobe, Kobe, right? Yeah. But, and black Twitter is fucking aggressive. Yeah. I got, I got in beef with black Twitter once. Yeah. What, what happened? happened? It was, uh, it was, it was, there was a, it was V-Day gifts for the hood, Valentine's Day gifts for the hood. And I was reading them, and they were just, it was all black people, but it was ra- it was racist, but it was black people making racist jokes, like, get her another baby, you know, she already has seven or whatever. Mm, and, right. and I was, like, reading it going, like, if this was white people writing this, this is really horrible. Sure. And then I thought, maybe I'll be positive, and I wrote, um, how about a classy pen? And everyone's like... We don't want classy pens in the hood. You don't get this, man. This isn't for you. Oh. And then they started going, get the fuck out of here, white boy. This isn't for you. This is our thing. And then I was like, what about anything Dungeons and Dragons, son? <laughs> and and they weren't getting it. And they were like, yo. And they got fucking aggressive. Yeah. And then I, I wrote, all right, on one more. On Twitter. This is a long time yeah, ago. Yeah. And I was like, all right, one more try. <laughs> and they were like, you better not be fucking with us. And like, it's, it's aggressive. I got into it with, and I, I wrote, uh, how about a bottle of champagne, but spray it all over like a whore. Oh and they're like, that's more like it. <laughs> <laughs> I got into it with Korean Twitter too. Korean, Korean Twitter? Twitter I, I, got, I, I ran from that one. I deleted the tweet and everything. Wait, north or south? I think <laughs> north. I think <laughs> north. Oh, Jesus. So I said, I think north. Kim Jong Un had his children's names are kim jong il and kim jong son how narcissistic of him to name all his kids after him <laughs> i know the, the last, the last name name first, first. Yeah. yeah i know that <laughs> and man korean bitches were they all went, over me that <laughs> is this is the most racist tweet this is what's wrong with white people and then i was like wait is it i don't even know if it's racist so but i was like i just thought it was funny i'm like watching a tv show going yeah. kim jong un kim jong and i really thought he named all his kids Kim. And then I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. And then I was like, oh, I'll tweet it. And then I just deleted it. I was like, deleted it. I got into it. Oh, I got into it with a gamer one time. Oh, they're the scary. That's school shooter stuff. I got into it with a gamer. There. And uh, whew, I thought I would like, I thought I'd just win it because I was funnier than he yeah. was. And there was no, his yeah. fan base was thick. But that's all they do is talk shit. All day online to each other. So they, got, right. they got him. They ready to fire him. Oh, dude. And then I had to DM him and be like, hey man, I, I didn't I I didn't know that I said something. I don't know what I fucking said. He was going through a mental health crisis. Oh. And so he had and then he like the next day he got offline and he told his fans he didn't he wasn't it was like it was bad. And then I, was I still, still can't believe people defended Kim Jong un though. Yeah, I'm still on that one. Well, he's yeah. the leader. No, I think they were thinking that it was just racist for me to say of Koreans. Oh, but it is kind of crazy the Koreans that are free that have Twitter would defend. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, all right, that's cool. But I that's let that one slide. That's a Korean thing, not a Kim Jong thing. Like it's like that's how they put the last name first. You know how like you're Mexican, so you have like nine last names. 
Oh, I, I just have one. You just got the one? Yeah. Oh, you got to step it up. I'm not accepted by the other Mexicans. You got to step it up, bro. <laughs> Where, I mean, you do so much white boy shit. Yeah, I know. White, I'm out here with, white with, jokes. with the whites. No, and no, it's the whites. The whites. Yes. These are not even white. These are the whites. <laughs> Wats. Man, I love the whites. If you could be a different Latino, what different Latino would you be? Ooh, there's only one answer. Dominicans can say the N-word. Oh, so, so can Puerto Ricans. Puerto, so, oh, really? Mexicans can too. Anyone can. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Mexicans can't. I think no. Say that to my fucking daughter's middle school. <laughs> yeah, well, see, it depends where you're at, I guess. My daughter's middle school. Every Mexican kid said the N word. Every Mexican kid said the N word, and I was like, I was like, I guess the rules are off. I asked, I asked you last time. Yeah, last time. Yeah. yeah. Puerto Rican, you can it? say it. Dominican, you can say it. Cuban. Cuban, you can say it. I see Asians saying it on the subway. Asian yeah. kids. Asians from New York. Yeah. Or the Bay Area. New York can say it. No, I'm saying those two can say it. You oh, know what's really? weird yeah. is doing comedy, you don't know how many Indian dudes have just said it to me. And I don't know if they're saying it because they're just like, it's all right. There's no black people around. Or they think like, nah, we could say it. Like, But either way, if, when an Indian dude says it, it feels worse than when a white dude says it. <laughs> you think? Yeah, way worse. I don't know why. <laughs> Indians who speak English sound whiter than white dudes. That's true. <laughs> I've never heard comedy is scary. Uh, I've never heard the Indian guy say the M word. I'm so badly want to call Russell Peters right now. <laughs> he says it. He's Does got he? that great bit about it. Oh yeah, yeah. He did on Def Jam. Oh Mondays. Yes, yeah. yes. Wait, what they, was call, it? they call a lot. They used to call black people Mondays because everyone hates Mondays. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah. what was he said that on Def Jam? Yeah, yeah it killed. Yeah. Shut the fuck yeah, it up. It killed. It killed. That was the first time he ever said it too. He was like, "Fuck it, I'll throw it out there." Yeah. There was, you know, <laughs> taking those chances was like, I loved doing stand up before there were cell phones because you could really take chances and yeah. do wild shit. And then, you know, and if you just bombed, you bombed. Yeah. Did you ever hear the one Ralphie did on the, on the Paul, I think it was, it was, uh, someone, the Joyner Cruise. He did like a Tom Joyner Cruise. Is it Tom Joyner Cruise? Yeah. He goes up, he's the only white guy on the ship. And his opening joke is, I haven't seen this many N words oh. on a boat since Amistad. <laughs> That's a great. But line. Ralphie, Ralphie said the N word. He said a lot. He yeah, said yeah. a lot. He said a lot. Yeah. There's, there's some dudes. Like I don't. Like, I think Ralphie had a pass too. Yeah, I think so. At that weight, you, know, <laughs> you Man, can do anything. Pass, hey, you know he's not running. Right. The pass is not universal. Though. What are you doing there? Huh? I'm oh. listening. It's Queef Master. I don't yeah. want to be that guy. But this is like a pretty big time tour. A lot of white people and whatnot. We got Cypher. Oh, yeah, that, that doesn't count. But <laughs> how come we got to hold our own mics? This is so ghetto. <laughs> I feel like I just started my own podcast. <laughs> this is all I can afford. Good mic, Wait, do, you have a, do you have a podcast? No. But if what? I did, I'd have stands for the mics. <laughs> 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 it's all right. At least we're in a baseball stadium. Oh man, I'm missing my podcast partner's wedding because of this tour. Are you serious? Yeah, Damn, you're a bad. So friend. shout out. Where, where's my camera? Is I don't know. You had a podcast. Shout out. I have the number. I have no, the I'm first hip hop podcast saying. ever. You bitch. I didn't know you did either. <laughs> shout out to Peter Rosenberg. I'm sorry I'm missing your wedding, but the Watts need me. There you go, Peter Rosenberg. Yeah, as in Peter Rosenberg got into beef with Car with Cardi B. With Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj? Yeah. Why Peter they have Rosenberg. Beef. I yeah. like Peter Rosenberg. Yeah, of course. He's the best. I think I've DM'd with Peter Rosenberg. Yeah. I haven't talked about him in a minute. He's the best. Baby, I, what are you doing? Either come in or come out. We're in the frame. Just let him. It doesn't matter, man. It's a yeah. podcast. It's not going to hurt the pod. <clears throat> um, <laughs> uh, wait, do you have a podcast, Ralph? Nah, no podcast. Why not? I don't know. There's no time for that. He doesn't all that. need it. Yeah, you don't we have it. podcasts yeah. to sell tickets. Yeah. He already fucking sells the tickets. Right. Yeah, that is, that is technically. But if you want to start one, I'll, I'll do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pretty dry dude. I don't got much to talk about. Everything I have yeah, to say, you I've said it you're so full here, shit. here you're, in you're the last the, 10 minutes. You're, you're, you are a chatty Kathy. You're a fun guy to hang out with because you like talking. Oh, uh, can like, I have one of those? I oh, do like to talk, but like in like moments, truly? you know? Thank you. I don't like to talk uh, on command. Yeah, this this feels like a like an on command talk. Nah, oh, you're, I a like good talk. Talk. you're a good hang talk. You're a real good hang. Yeah, talk. he's a good hang. 
Why don't you reply to my hang- text messages? We was, <laughs> man, we was hanging in a diner in Dallas. I don't remember that at all. Oh, okay, well, you know, I used to be somebody in your oh, life. Oh, yeah, Brazilian Cafe. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun. But you guys told me all my stories suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not a drinker, are you? Sometimes I drink. It's rarely. That might help the stories. He's not drinking right now because he's getting ready. He's training as a boxer. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to fight somebody. I just don't know who yet. <laughs> somebody you know? Or like, a, like is, are you training for somebody in the streets? Nah, nah. I, I want to... I want to get into like a, like an amateur boxing like official match. Oh, nice! Really? Yeah, like a four round thing or something. You oh know? shit! That would be. I, I would. I would be. I would like to feel the nerves of that. I think that's why I want to do it. It's like the adrenaline of it. Yeah. Plus, if it's like a, it's like a win win because if I lose, they're gonna be like, "Well, he's not even a boxer. He's a comic. He just got out there. That's pretty dope." Yeah. But if I win, they're gonna be like, "He's not even a boxer. He's a comic. He's bad as he got right. out there and whooped this guy." Great strategy. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I don't fight women. Because <laughs> if you win, you're like, "Hey, you beat up a girl." But if you lose, yeah, you know, yeah. I've uh, have you ever been in a fist fight? Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. You grew up in New Orleans. New Orleans in the in a bad neighborhood. Very bad. A lot of running, and I was a skateboarder, so they would we would get chased. Really? Yeah, it was scary. Have you ever, have you ever been like really scared? Well, I got uh, I got knocked out in college, Shit. and I peed myself. Because oh. I got knocked out so bad that I just lost all, you know, bodily faculties. Control. There you go. Wow. Wait, where, where did he punch you? Right in the temple. Running, run up, running start, punch in the temple. I saw white and went out. Fuck. Why did why why That's did he punch you? Because he saw white. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was a white guy. That'd be funny if he punched you in the dick and then you peed yourself. He's just like, oh, my one yeah. weakness. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we, was at, we were at Mardi Gras parade, and it was like five of us, and this kid had a spear. And you catch a spear, that's the number one item off a of float, a spear. They're like this long, and they're, they're great. And these kids were trying to take the spear from this little kid, these other college guys. And we're like, hey, leave the kid alone. He's got a spear. And they're like, we want the spear and whatever. So then they're like, you got a problem? And there was, you know, a lot of them. And they were like, yeah, we'll just give the kid the spear back. And one of them pushed me, and I didn't know, like out of a movie... His other friend was kneeling behind me, oh. and I fell right over him, and then they just started beating the shit out of us. And uh, then it all broke up, and then one ran up and punched me. Oh, God. so you didn't oh, Okay, you didn't follow my number one rule, which is mindyourbusiness.com. Oh, I thought as a Puerto Rican you'd say shank him. <laughs> but no, we were trying to help the kid. Fuck that kid, man. Yeah, he didn't help us. He got the hell out of there <laughs> with that spear. He ran away with his spear. I, I had a friend growing up that even if you, like, demanded, like, begged him, like, don't jump in to this fight that I'm about to do, he'd still jump in. He'd even hit, like, his own friend just for the sake of making the fight, like, a bigger issue. Like, yeah. <laughs> jump in when to every fight. he was fighting fight. somebody else, and you always tell him don't jump in because then it turns into a melee. Yeah, um, but he'd always jump in no matter what. Those I'm, guys are good to have around every day. I, I don't think I've ever seen a one-on-one fight. No? Nah? I mean, I've I've seen them like I t- I told you about in freshman year. They were like, we were all. I don't know if I told this last time, but oh, I was just telling it. We were at the beach or something. We were hanging out. I think I told I told you this. The guy goes, I won't say their names. They're grown up men now that are fifty. <laughs> but there was a one guy was Mexican and black, and then the, and then the other guy was white. Mm. So the Mexican and black guy is one challenges the white guy to the fight. So they all go to Horizon Park after school and they square up oh, and, the and and everyone's in a circle and the white uh, dude does the crow stance from karate kid <laughs> oh, the crane the crane and the and the black mexican guy goes whoa 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 this isn't this is a street fight no karate and <laughs> what <clears throat> and what? then someone's like if he knows karate he can use karate and and then he's like and you can see that he really intimidated the black and mexican guy and then the white guy goes to do a roundhouse kick and connects with a fucking tree and breaks his ankle, shatters his ankle, and the black guy just got on top of him and pummeled him. Oh. And then he said... That's fucked up. The, the black Mexican guy had help from the tree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he jumped it was them. bad. It was bad. It wasn't his first move. Like, he had, like, he would, like, chance, and, and, and then all of a sudden he just came in and did a roundhouse kick and just fucking clocked a tree. Oh. Oh. And that was... I, I've seen two fights like that where... where um, that one on one, but every fight in college was a melee. Every fight was like bar fights. Um, yeah. I've, I've been punched so many times. 
<laughs> I was always the guy that said the thing yeah, that same. got the fight started. Yeah, like that was like, I remember, I remember, I mean, the timing was perfect. Perfect. Right after the LA riots, Lambda <laughs> Kai, ATO, Yanni's bar, two dudes <laughs> face to face, b dudes behind them. And I get, I'm an ATO and I get in between. I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Can't we all just get along and whack? <laughs> That's always the best when the yeah. hero gets hit. Because you yeah. don't want to see a hero. Yeah. I, I hate that guy who's like, come on, everybody yeah. chill out. Yeah. I'm like, somebody fucking hit that guy, please. It's not gonna work. I got hit so many times. And then I got and then I got really beat up once. And I was like, I'm never fighting again. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Yeah, you ever I don't see know the, what you guys are doing? I tried to start a fight a few weeks ago in Oklahoma City, but it was so weak. We're there tomorrow. I don't think anybody else even realized what I was doing. Because I, 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 I was like, there's some dude. I don't know what he said. And I was just like, yeah, whatever, four eyes. Yeah, it was like it was like a 1980s bully. Easy, easy. easy. <laughs> Kick stones. Yeah. And his buddy was like, what'd you say to him? Like, the guy didn't even care. He was like, yeah, I got glasses, so what? <laughs> but his buddy was like, what'd you say to him? And I was like, I called him four eyes. And then that guy kind of realized it, like, yeah, that is nothing. That's He's nothing. like, all right, later. Like <laughs> This guy got back to the future insults. <laughs> I'll work on him. But that was a time when you weren't supposed to hit a dude with glasses. That was a big thing. In the 80s? No, like the 50s. You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Yeah. Because it is an unfair fight. Yeah, you could get the lens in their eye. Yeah, I would. I, I'll take them off first. I'm like a gentleman, but then they can't see. That's like what they say. So you shouldn't fight them. Oh, you take them off him. Yeah, like all sexy, like like <laughs> like the way the the jock teaches the nerd how to be hot. You yeah. take him off and then drop his hair. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's like all that. Yeah, it's like putting a girl's hair behind you right before you kiss her. You take the glasses off. You're like, all right, now. And then, blah. Wait, how many girls have you kissed? Do you think? <sighs> what? How many girls have you kissed? There's Realistically, no way to count. for Hold real, for I can real. count them. I can count them. I could count them. Really? You could count? I could count them. All the girls you've kissed? I could easily count all the girls I kissed. Fuck wow. out of here. Does Tiffany Haddish count? <laughs> uh, no, no. Wait, I have. You can't count? The how? I just, I'm, I've, I've fucked everyone I've kissed practically. Oh, like, I just no. wasn't, I dated so many people. How good like, of a kisser you never, are you? you, you no, I'm, I'm only, I've only fucked six chicks. <laughs> That'd be so funny like, if, like, so every like, girl not, you kiss is just, <clears> I got I'm in sex with a lot of people, but I've, I could count. I could tell you. I could really probably go through and tell you all the chicks I kissed because they were all girlfriends. I wasn't like a dude who like I never like hooked up with chicks at bars and stuff. No, me neither. But really? I kissed more girls than I fucked for sure. Oh Poor yeah, girl. obviously. Have you had more blowjobs than sex? What? Have you had more? No, blowjobs I don't than like. Sex? I'm not a. I rather sex than than the blowjob. You don't like giving like blowjob. I don't. It's not that I don't like it. I just don't. I don't love it. I wouldn't. If I had to choose, it'd be sex. Really? Really? Yeah. I think oh, it's a mood thing. Oh, no, 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 no. I'd always go blowjob first. Really? Oh, they're not intimate always. to me. Like, if, if you told me that I could take my, I could have, I get my way about it. Like, I don't have to, I'm not in a rush, you know, and, and you go, do you want a blowjob or sex? I go, oh, blowjob, a heartbeat. What, no. Well, you looks like you're trying to get one right now with this thigh action. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. It's been my new look. Short shorts are in this. No, they are. I can't. That's why I haven't wear shorts all summer. That's why he's fucked every girl that he's kissed. <laughs> wear those shorts. Look at that. That's a decent, <laughs> a got, decent why hand. Am I, why am I sitting right here? This is bad. <laughs> Wait, how many? Um, would you rather have anal over sex? No Me? way. Oh, no, nah, I've never done anal. And never done anal? I don't do no butt stuff. It hurts my ass. <laughs> no, oh, you're Wait, you don't. You don't do any butt stuff? None. Nothing with butt. Nothing. You don't eat the back door? Nope. You don't really? look, you don't what, look at the butt. What about a finger? No, nope. a pink nothing. When, you, when you're hitting it from behind, you're like this. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have a joke. I do. That. I say when I when I you put a little pussy, curtain over it. I put a uh, blue painters tape over the butt so I don't make sure there's no leakage. It is amazing how women are just showing you their assholes because yeah, I walk out the yeah. the bedroom backwards after I have sex. Yeah, I don't want anybody I, seeing my uh, oh my balloon knot. Oh, I have no. I have a picture of my asshole. That it's your screensaver. No, I, I I I was saying to Leanne, we were talking about a vacation we had, and you know how you can go into your pictures and go to your maps on your pictures. Do you know how you can do that? I don't know about the map. Uh, it shows like you where you took the picture. Yeah, it shows oh. you where you took oh, the picture. Really? It shows you where your asshole yeah. was located in that and, picture. Well, no, I have. I'm showing uh, here. I'll see if I can find it. I was. I, I was. I was just thumbing through, uh, I and I was like, so. "Wait, have we been here?" And then Leanne goes. 
hold on, is that a picture of your asshole? And I was like, I don't think so. I go, oh, yeah, it's a picture of my asshole. I, I, yeah. You have a great wife. Yeah, I fucking. Yeah, no butt stuff for me. Is that bad? No, well, some girls good. like are, it. Are you curious? No. Also, it's another hole. It's right there. It's the just... vagina is a great hole. It is Agreed. A, it is a pretty I don't, good does, hole. Why do I need a hole where it's literally an empty cavity inside? The vagina has the fat and the muscle all cringed together, squishy. Look, man, I don't get fried chicken for the skin, but the skin is a bonus. <laughs> Yeah, I get like, fried chicken for the skin. I get it for the skin. <laughs> what do you mean? Why would you want the cake and the ice cream? <laughs> yeah. You just need to eat cake? Sometimes There's you eat the ice cake. cream and you eat the cone too. Uh, right? the ice I'm not, I'm not like, like, oh, the I fucking that eat ice the cone, but... Filthy. Yeah, I don't order ice cream just to eat the cone, but if the cone's there, I'm going to eat the cone. <laughs> cone's yeah. nice. put my finger in it. Nah. <laughs> nah, I don't put my I tongue don't in know the cone from time to time. At least smell the cone. Smell the cone. I don't want no parts. Take a picture of the cone when the cone I don't even like shit jokes. You don't like shit jokes? I don't like shit jokes. Love Nothing shit. Oh, so you got a real problem with Maybe I got food. trauma. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I went to Catholic school. Yeah. Uh, you went to Catholic? I didn't know you were Catholic. <laughs> Altar boy? All of us are Catholic. <laughs> are we all Catholic here? No, yeah. No, I'm not Catholic. I went to Catholic school. Mark's Catholic. I'm an atheist. <laughs> well, no, you're Catholic. Uh, when you go to heaven, you will be a Catholic. I'm a Muslim. You're Catholic. Are you, you, go you, to heaven, be you go to heaven to be a Catholic? Yeah, you got to be there. When God gets there, I'll be there first, and I'll be like, they're Catholic. Don't worry. Let them in. Oh shit! And guys gonna be like, "Ah, oh, fucking Bert Kreischer is cool." Yeah, you, you guys know Bert, and you'll be like, "Oh shit, <laughs> he's he no Matt here. Rife, but fuck it, come on, he's, man." Yeah, he's gonna like kiss six women, let him in. <laughs> Matt Rife will be there, and he's like, "Yeah, man, some, some fucking stalker shot me." <laughs> and I'll be like, I'll be like yeah, "Don't worry, the head of my fan club shot me." <laughs> hey, Yolanda. <laughs> Wait, is this recline? Oh, please. Oh, there you go. Oh fuck, wow. that doesn't, wasn't worth it. The um. Wait, what do you think happens when you die, Mark? Oh, I think you go into the earth, and then you know that's it. This is the this is the big run. I think you enjoy it. I think if you look at heaven like this after party, you'll live less at the real party. Yeah, I agree. I think I think heaven is is like real. I just I just think it's fun by like late seventeen hundreds, early eighteen hundreds standards. I think that's that's when <laughs> that's heaven when they was. made heaven. I think that's when heaven was. I think that's the last time heaven was like where you want to be. Yeah, well, it doesn't and make then sense. Earth got really cool, and we started like partying a lot more, and, and then right. guns were invented, Technology. and got Wi-Fi, Wild West, and more. you know yeah, drugs. Yeah. Well, because they couldn't introduce all the shit we have on Earth now to all the people that are dead, because there'd be people who'd be like, I mean, there there were people that didn't understand the use of the wheel. Yeah, and they can't like press. show them a cell phone and be like, they be like, what is this? I don't know what accent I'm doing. The machine. I bet you once the people in heaven <laughs> saw this? like OnlyFans and Pornhub, they were like, maybe we should have gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is heaven now? Because it said it's it's paradise, but if your grandmother's there, yeah, is that but, great? Yeah, I'd love you to ever see go my to grandma, church? But she's young. But so you're the same age? Yeah, we're all the same age. We're all 33. When Jesus died. Oh, okay. Oh, we're, we're all 33? Yeah, we're all 33. In heaven, oh, we're all 33? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, we're all 33. Well, what if you die as a kid? <clears throat> You're 33, too. Oh. Yeah. You shoot up. Everyone's. I did research on this. Everyone's 33. Everyone's got a full head of hair. Everyone's white. Everyone, slim? Oh. <laughs> can I slim down? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can slim. You can slim down. Everyone's going to be in great shape. I can eat what I want, but I'm slim. Yep. You're heaven. slim. Heaven. heaven. You ever go? All right, but you ever go heaven. to church? And you're hanging out to people at church, and you're like, "Man, I don't really want to be with these people." Those are the people in heaven. You exactly. Go to heaven? That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean, my aunt's gonna be there. She do you sucks. think they'll let gay people into heaven? Yeah. yeah. Now they gay do. people. Now are fine. Oh, that sucks. All the old gay people are in hell. <laughs> All the new gay people. <laughs> it's like my boy that's locked up in prison for selling weed. Oh. And then now it's like everybody just out there. He watches Instagram. They have phones in prison. He watches Instagram. He's like, people just sell weed on the on the on the street on St. Mark's place. Like, yeah, it's just that's gotta be. It's crazy. just legal now. That's crazy. Can you imagine? Because he went to jail for weed. How much weed? It wasn't that much. The problem is in jail, he got in a lot more trouble. Yeah, mm. that's the that catch yeah. twenty two of it. So the weed part can get expunged, but he killed someone in jail. Oh no! So but that shouldn't count. What do you do that for? They were trying to kill him. Might have been a pedophile. <laughs> like, no, you shouldn't be in trouble for killing people in jail. Wow. Well, I agree. Still killing people. No, but not in jail. It's different. It's different rules. All right. Yeah, it's definitely. I mean, it's, it's, it's different rules. It's you, survival you, every yeah, day. It's, every day is survival. Yeah. You can't. You can't. Like, if, if I suck the dude's dick in prison, that doesn't make me gay. So if I oh, kill yes. a man. 
I'm Tony back. Soprano over here. That, that's two things that should be like legit just allowed in prison is cocksucking and murder. Yeah. Wow, now that's heaven. <laughs> that's, heaven. <laughs> that's heaven. That's New Haven. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that sucks that, that, yeah. uh, that you, he ended up going to prison and then he gets in trouble and he has to kill someone. Yeah. So he's safe and now he's going to spend a lot of time in prison. Yeah, like 20 years more. Oof. That more sucks. Yeah, you know what else is Did you ever go visit him? Uh, I did, I used to, but he went. He's far now. He went to um, he go to federal. On yeah. that same, I used to visit him a lot. That's how him. I found out about. Sorry, that's how I found out. I fell in love with Burlington, Vermont, because I used to go visit my boy in prison, upstate New York. Yeah, and, and Clinton, and it was a shitty town. So I was like, where can I get a nice hotel? Yeah. It's like thirty minutes away. You take the ferry to Burlington, Vermont. Burlington, Vermont. So I go awesome. to Burlington. Beautiful there. And then I fucking just go across, visit him all day, get him some wings. Go back to Burlington, fucking hang out. Can with you me. visit? Can I just visit people in prison? Do I have to know them? You have to have their name and their number. I think if you go Tyrone, you're all right. <laughs> the odds are on your side. When when my uncle was in federal prison, it was like a prison camp, and we like sit like next to him yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they don't even prison. Yeah, and like you don't, they don't even, they didn't even like search us or nothing. So I would stop like at a Sonic and get a fat ass breakfast sandwich and just stuff it in my pocket. Yeah. And I just walk in smelling like breakfast. And they yeah, would never serve me. They would just smell me. But I, I guess maybe the guards were like, he smells like a Mexican yeah, household. It's, it's like Mexican food. It <laughs> smells like chili. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, I've snuck phones into jail. Whoa. I thought you were in the bus stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get them in? <laughs> I didn't put it in my butt. <laughs> like, no anal unless it's an iPhone. Nah, the fucking, all That's the a guards, call. <laughs> all the guards are on the take, bro. Really? All the guards are on the take. Not maybe not all, but a lot of them are. So yeah. But who's famous that's in prison that I could go? Wesley Snipes. He's not in prison. He oh, he's out. Taxes. Is he yeah, out? He's not, yeah, I think he's out. out. Yeah. Wait, like, could I have visited DMX? Yeah, I mean, you have to have the the number, their prison number, because they have to go get them. Oh. So I don't I'd be like, I'd be like seven two three four five, <laughs> and bring out. I go, no, 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 seven two three four six. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 seven. We're gonna be here for a while. You want to tell me who's on DMX is? <laughs> I need Earl Simmons to the front, please. Nah. Yeah, I need Earl Simmons. Oh. Wait, could you, could I, I would, I, I'm wondering if you could do that and then just do a podcast with them. I, I don't know. I think there's some, I mean, I've seen people record stuff in prison, like documentaries and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but if you got behind that glass with the phones, that'd be a cool podcast. Yeah. Bro, no, you? no prison I ever went to had the glass with the phones. I think oh. that's, that might be TV. Yeah. You just go to a room? Now, when my dad first went to prison, the so he had to, like, turn himself in to one facility before they transferred him out to, like, where he's actually going to be. Wait. But that place where he was at, there was, like, the glass with yeah. the phone. Wait, how old like were you when your dad went to prison? I don't know, like 17, 18. What did he do the night before he went turned himself in? I don't know. I didn't live with him. I just went with him to drop him off. Did really? He, yeah, did I, was like, the, the I was like, yo, remember when you dropped me off at grandma's? I was like... This is how I felt. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. No, nah, it was all sad. Did, was uh, it sad? Huh? Was yeah, it? Everybody was sad. You touch hands on the glass? Nah, that's gay. All right. <laughs> Turning yourself in, I don't think I could do it. Turning yourself in, that's the worst. I mean, it's better than having to, like, get sentenced and then right away go away. He got sentenced and he got to, like, hang out for a couple weeks and then. Ugh. How long was he in prison for? <sighs> like five years. Jesus wow. Christ. Yeah, something like that. Ali Sadiq was six. Yeah, Wait, he just got out. Yeah, he got. He just got out not too long ago. Shut up. He's been out. A, he's been out a little while now. Do you do a big party? Less than five. I didn't. I didn't throw him a party. I don't know if anybody else did. Ouch. That's crazy. If my dad went to prison, I would definitely throw him like a brunch or something. Something. <laughs> he well, he had to come. It's because it, it's like, it's like happy when they come back, but it's kind of anticlimactic because they have to go to a half a halfway house usually. Oh, for real? Yeah. So they're like back, but they're not all. It's like back. the movie Double Jeopardy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Double Jeopardy with Ashley Judge. She's so mm -hmm. hot. She, you see what happened to her? No, nah, what? She, not she hot. fell in the jungle. What? What? She fell in the jungle. Kick that jungle and ass. broke your fucking broke her leg. Oh, her like fuck. femur, and she tripped. She was doing this thing for like when you Rosebud, said Bud, come in here. When you said talking about Ashley Judd. When you said fell in the jungle, I just imagine like from a helicopter into the jungle. No, no, no. She hi Rosebud. She here Rosebud, come sit with us. We're talking about Ashley Judd. Did you know what happened to her? Shorts are so short. Yeah, yeah we've been talking about. 
It's yeah. it's a new look. <laughs> it's a look. Can I, can I have one of those waters? It's a look. <laughs> it's a look. Here, sit down. This is so crazy. <laughs> Did you hear what happened to Ashley Judd? Wait, this is recently. This is real. Thank you. Ashley Judd was doing a thing in the in the in the jungle for like for like gorillas or something, and so she had like a group, small group of dudes that she had hired like porters to help her get in there to do the thing and then get her out. And it was like a two day walk into the jungle and then a two day walk out. And like her in her second day, she tripped and broke her femur. Ugh. And they were like, "Fuck, how do we get her out of here?" So they created a hammock out of a stick and a stick and some uh, leaves or whatever and carried her on their shoulders on a stick. I'll show you the picture here. Hold this. What the but fuck? It, and she is having a really hard time recovering. Mm. Like, like she's, uh, she's, I think it's actually. Well, when good. you break a hip, you don't go in a hammock. No, it's like the wrong thing to put yourself in, right? But it was like a makeshift gurney. Well, why why was she concerned with the gorillas? Yeah. If I'm Ashley Judd, I like I retire. Yeah. I hit up Val Kimmer for booty calls from time to time. Oh, she looks she looks like Yeah, she looks hurt. It was, maybe it was a movie set <laughs> thing. Oh, that's bad. Let me see really that. Bad. She looks like that guy that attacked Dave Chappelle after they took <laughs> the <laughs> Yeah, it's like half her body. Take yeah. this. Yeah. That's she, crazy. She, um, oh, my baby. But she had a really hard time recovering because oh, her leg, I think the privilege. bone was sticking out. Oh. And they were, and they had to get her not just back. I mean, the village she was staying at to go in to get the gorillas or to meet the gorillas was like still fucking two days from the closest hospital. This so looks like she an had, for, She had her uh, leg. It was really com. bad. Probably got infected or some <laughs> shit. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Sometimes in life, we're faced with tough choices. The path forward isn't always clear. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Have you ever been in one of those situations where you literally don't know which side's up and you don't know what to say and you're sitting there going, I know I'm not supposed to bite my tongue. I know I'm supposed to say something, but I feel like every time I say something, it comes out wrong or I say the wrong word and now we're fighting and you're like, what am I doing wrong? Whether you're dealing with decisions about your career relationships or anything else, Therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life so you can move forward with confidence and excitement. Uh, I am texting with my therapist, therapist nonstop. I do online therapy. It's all I do. It's so much easier, and I would suggest that to anyone. But I'm dealing with a lot of stuff right now. I have a lot of pressure. <laughs> I, I'm texting with my therapist, and we're trying to set up a time where I have an hour to sit down and talk with him. It helps so much. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched to a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Burt today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Burt. Grunt Style is a lifestyle brand that distills pure 100% American fighting spirit and shares it in the form of high-quality patriotic apparel, a veteran-founded company that honors service at home and abroad. With more than 200 veterans on staff, Grunt Style has taken the American fighting spirit and instilled it in everything they do. They make high-quality clothing with patriotic themes that wave the American flag with pride. To Grunt Style, what you wear is more than just a necessity. It's about an attitude. They've taken the American fighting spirit and instilled it in everything they do. And you don't have to be a veteran to wear grunt style, but you do have to love freedom, bacon, and whiskey. All three are my lovers. They provide more than apparel. They instill pride. Burkcast listeners get 15% off any order at grunt style. Always go to gruntstyle.com and use the code burkcast 15 at checkout for 15% off your entire order every time. Or go directly to the Burtcast collection page at gruntstyle.com. Address is on your screen right now. And use that code Burtcast15 at checkout for 15% off your order. I would do butt stuff with Ashley Judd. There we go. Rosebud, butt stuff. <laughs> Yay or nay? Butt stuff. Uh, I guess if you owe somebody a favor. Come on, you're married. You made me laugh so hard last night because I was, was it me and you in the back? And I heard a huge boo. Yeah. And you and you said, I stopped, I, I, I stopped giving oh, blowjobs. Yeah. <laughs> and, and everyone started booing. And then you go, because he lost his hair. 
or something. And I was like, I loved that so much because that funny. is the thing that outrages dudes where they're like, shut the fuck. Because every guy is they terrified so of losing upset. his hair. That, that was it was funny. basically just that we both lied. Like we, when we got married, he had hair and I gave blowjobs. Right. And you were both lying. Yeah. He stopped having hair. So, you, you know what I mean? You stopped yeah. But that. people, they That's get even. so upset if you bring upset. up hair. Yeah. Hair is Ooh. bad. Oh, yeah. I used to have a joke. Um, when a girl grabs your hat off off your head, it's the same feeling as when a guy lifts up her skirt. Oh, yeah. Because you're like, yo, 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 yo. I have yeah. this hat on for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear a guy like try to scream lower. Yeah. When you snatch his hat. He'll be like, ah! you know, he's like, he tries to make it lower. Yeah, hair is a touch. The only thing worse so than that is when you uh, get your hair, like when you sprinkle in hair and you have hairspray in and someone goes to rub your hair and they're like, what the fuck? And you're I like, know. sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm shooting a TV don't show. Ever, don't ever touch somebody's head after like 30 years old, bro. Yeah. Right. Don't touch anyone's head. I just try not to touch people in general. Yeah, it's pretty smart. Good. Uh, actually, I swear to God, I'm starting to touch people more. Not the hair. No, just I touch them. I'm yeah. starting with Stacy. Is she in here? I've been touching Stacy a lot. That's why she's hiding. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but like I've, I realized just how much how important touching people. Like, were you Victoria? Were you with me or Peter? Were you with me when we were in? Um, we were in J Jimmy Kimmel, and the lady was touching my face. She was, yeah, the makeup artist was just, oh, she was just, so nice. just touching my face, yeah. like right before we started. And I realized, I go, I don't get touched very often because Leanne is now way more of a toucher with this last month, but wasn't a big toucher. Mm. And I adversely am not a toucher, but then I realized just how important getting touched is. And I was like, and I, I, I when she did it to me, I went, whoa. I was like, I don't think I've had anyone like yeah, touch my face. at first. I got me, made me really yeah, uncomfortable. That happened to me recently with a makeup artist. I was like, this is a lot. It's and intimate. Then I try to sell into. Yes, yeah, I sell so into. So nice. It. It's like the greatest feeling. I love getting my makeup done. I'll just sit there, like even just hearing you mention it, made, like relax my entire body. I just felt so good getting my hair done, getting my makeup done, because you can just fall asleep. Yeah. As long as they don't talk to you, you can just fall asleep while they do your makeup. <laughs> love getting a facial. And then, put, and then, and then when you wake up. All the makeup makes you look like you're asleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those sad clowns. Yeah, you look dead. <laughs> I I love getting my hair washed. Yes. Oh, that feels uh, great. That's the nice. best feeling, just the rubbing. It's like... Um, just fingers through the hair in general is nice. Very oh, nice. Yeah. You're getting to that. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> I touch my own hair and I'd imagine that it's a girl doing it. It's like masturbation, but for the hair. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah, somebody loves me. <laughs> <laughs> that's some people's love language right touch yeah i think so I some people don't like Do you it, guys though. know what your love languages are do you know what yours is Bert? i don't even know what that means you don't you never heard of love language no what's that really oh you guys gotta get girlfriends i'm married <laughs> it's love like, language is like go ahead. well i haven't read the book i just <clears> have <throat> heard about it but it's there's like five love languages yeah. and one is Physical touch. One is um, words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. One is I. One is I think a cheat. It's gifts. Yeah, gifts. Gifts. Like how you show like love. Cheat. Mm. And then um, acts of service. Yeah, acts of service. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine too. That's mine. What, what does that mean? It means like, like doing like doing things that like if you have like something to do the next day, somebody like lays out your your shit that you oh, need to go do Leanne's that thing. Too. Yeah. That's Leanne's too. Yeah. You have the same love language. Yeah, Leanne. Leanne said to me. Um, you, you know, I love you for all the shit I, I do for you. Yeah. Cause she does do a lot of shit for me. Mine is, and I, and I only identified this recently through the, the something's burning cooking show I do. So I love making people food. Mm -hmm. I love making people food. I love taking care of people and making them laugh. It's why I love comedy. I love entertaining and making someone happy is I won't eat. If I make dinner, I won't eat until everyone's gotten a plate. I will like, say that I think everything yeah. you're saying is true. Last also, night on the tour bus, you were like spoon feeding me, and then you were just like, ah, blah, 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 and I was just laughing my ass <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also quality time, and and that's kind of a, a little bit of what you're saying too, because you got the quality time in with people. You yeah. Just you get to spend time with them, and yours seem yours seems like a the both of those together. Oh, like this. Like I love this tour because I love I love when like. I love when people go, oh, this is cool that we're doing this. Like, we're on the speedboats. Yeah. When you and Lewis were on the speedboats, and you both were like, like, I was watching your faces. And I don't mean this. I don't mean this. 
I, I know it's going to come out wrong. It's fine. But I've done everything there is to do in life. Yeah. I've done everything. So I was on Travel Channel four years. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. we would spend three, every day, we would do three once-in-a-lifetime opportunity right. a- activities. So I've done everything there is to do. Not everything. Uh, 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 Have you ever the only performed thing... with a shirt on? <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, I did. Oh, really? The, uh, I would yeah. love to see that. And so, so, but uh, <laughs> but it's really fun for me. Like we're going to Vegas, and uh, and Georgia and her friend Daisy were like, they were talking about skydiving. I go, you guys want to jump off stratosphere? And they're like, what's that? I go, it's a hundred and eleven story building, eleven hundred feet over the Vegas Strip. I remember because it was my read. And I go and it's a controlled descent. It's fucking pretty terrifying, but it's safe and it's and I'll and I'll, I'll take you and do it. And so they're like, yeah. And then all of a sudden I brought it up and everyone started going, I want to jump off stratosphere. I was like, let's all jump off stratosphere. Let's all go jump off stratosphere. But I love giving that to people. Like I love, like uh, uh, I love being able to like go the like here's an experience. yeah here's an experience in this great yeah. don't you love this aren't we having a great time like you know i, I, I that's my love language well, what was about the speedboat you were telling oh, me. when i was watching you yeah. and lewis and i was like and I, I mean i was thinking like lewis consistently would tell you he's just some puerto rican guy from the bronx or whatever and i go do you ever think you were going to be in traverse city yeah. on lake michigan yeah fucking going 120 miles in a four million dollar boat yeah like that in that cool that I can show you this experience Love it. to like broaden your horizons of what life's like. So then when you're hanging out with people and people are like, um, are, are you, have you ever been on a boat? And you're like, you can tell that cool story. Yeah. Giving to people, <laughs> bless you. I love that. I love, um, you know, that's why we didn't do aerial yoga. Cause I was like, boo, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Bert, we've done Bert it, we've done it before Latins. and it's, it's not, uh, I know what you mean, but do you, does it bother you when you give someone that and they don't appreciate it? Uh, Isn't that the worst? That bothers me. You know, you try to go, here's the thing I'm planning for everybody, yeah. and I bought this shit and figured that all this out. That bothers me for sure. And then people go, all right, thanks, see you later. <laughs> yeah, you mean like Joe List. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I love Joe. I'm Joe. I think Joe's going to be in Vegas when we're in Vegas. Oh, great. Yeah. Um. He No, no, but I do, because I, I, I like taking care of people. And when people, that was the problem with that fight with the Joe and I got into, and we resolved, and we're friends. Oh, boy. But um, was that I want to take care of everyone you know it's not even like like Saifu bought lunch yesterday and it, 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 it like i was like <laughs> was i was pissed. like no i wasn't pissed but i was like uh, i was like you, you, you don't pissed? ever have to do that i don't ever because i like to spend in abundance when it comes to food and drinking and georgia said to me i swear to god she sat down and she goes this is why i love eating with you dad you don't i don't i don't have to worry about what's coming but i know you're getting the best stuff Right. And I, cause I liked, I got ordered like four or five sandwiches. We ordered the uh, po big boys, J- the po po boys, jambalaya, uh, jambalaya the etouffee. Stuff. Yeah. But, but, oh my God, they were oh fucking all, we got two no, jalapeno those. poppers yeah, with had, the I crab four, meat. Four, four jalapeno poppers with the fucking oh, crab meat in them. Okay. okay. Shout out to Coops. Perfect, perfect example. <laughs> perfect example. Yesterday I felt fulfilled as a human being because I, A, was living the life I want to live. And experiencing life in a way that normal people don't. And you had said this when you got there. You were like, "We're gonna go to this, uh, yeah, this parade, this parade." And you're like, "It's gonna be, it's in- gonna be dumb." Yeah. And I had watching him have fun was so fun. It was great. Yeah. I started dancing, yeah. moving. You know what I mean? I was like, "Yeah," because I don't want to be the guy that on the tour that doesn't go to the stuff. Right. Right. So I went. All right, we go. I went, and then I watched him, and I was like, "Oh, this is fucking fun, man!" It's once in a yeah. lifetime shit. And as a New Orleanian, I gotta say, I've done a few second lines. Yeah, that was a great one. And when the guy gave you the big ass beer, that's yeah. like yeah. the key to the city. When they run out with the beer, yeah, that was yeah, huge. that was big. That well, was. Big. Bert, here's the thing, though. Like people, like like, uh, how can I thank you? <laughs> For taking me on this tour, right? But I Blow want him. to thank God, right? <laughs> so there's no way I can thank you. You have everything. You've done everything, but to pay for a meal for everyone because that's what you love. That's why you do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, it was really, and it was nice that you did that, and you can see the analyst. Like, no. For, no, no, everybody. For the record, yeah. I bought Sife's lunch, did. so I technically bought everybody's <laughs> lunch. No, 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 no. no. It, worry, <laughs> it was separate bills, and the lady wouldn't combine them. So then Ralph said, "All right, I'll pay for our." Three people, and I paid for like four. We're talking about four. Mark Mark has Mark had a jambalaya. Mark had (laughs) seven jambalayas. Oh yeah, I got the hell out of there. You like when you do stuff for other people, so I was like, he'll like 
that I'm doing stuff for other. You know, that's how. It's, the, the thing it's is, the best thing. It's not. Yeah, it's it's not lost on me. Like it's the thing I remember. Like it, that. Like shit like that. I was like, I was like, you didn't have to do that. And then I was like, and then when Leanne and I walked out, Leanne's like. I fucking love him. <laughs> oh God! And I was like, "Yeah, he's fucking great." And, sh and yo, tell your wife like, stop staring at me. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's going through something right now. <laughs> the, the uh, but like, yeah, I love giving people experiences. Like in Georgia, was like had never seen. She'd never been to New Orleans. Leanne had never been to New Orleans. Oh, so oh, that was wow. their first experience of New Orleans. Are you serious? Was them doing a second line? Yeah, down then, Bourbon Street. Yeah, well, and first time too. Thank and, you for all of that. Oh yeah, and and, and Georgia was like. I love this city. Yeah. And I was so like, great. I was like, it, I was like, you just did something pretty cool. And by the way, the city's even cooler. Like it's even cooler to get lost in the city and go down and find a bar and jump in. Then you and, got us beignets and frozen coffee. That yeah. was like that was like a dessert after God, dessert. Are so good. Oh my God. Don't forget the dead body. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No, he, experience. Did. <laughs> yeah. he lived. He lived. We, we yeah, he did. Did. yeah, he lived. Hey. While we were doing a parade, there was a uh, so crime cool, scene yeah. well, behind us in Bert, the park. What, when Bert was saying, what, when you were like, when we all, because there was a second that we all thought this guy was dead, right? Yeah, we yeah. all thought yeah. like he was dead and the tree fell on him while we were like dancing, dancing right yeah. near his please, almost please grave. Tell the whole story. Okay, so the second line ends at that square. What's this? Jackson Square. Jackson Square, okay. And there's this big old tree. It's like 200 years old. Mm -hmm. And none of us, the music was so loud because there was literal like, like battling bands. Yeah, there was our band, there was but then there was like another band, band on the and corner. there was another yeah. marching yeah, band. And so band. this <laughs> tree fucking snaps in half and falls on this guy who's like watching us 16 years old do the parade okay well don't Sorry. come on I didn't know that was just drop I didn't know blank it out such a huge nah, bummer I did feel like it Blame needed it to Blame be sad god <laughs> I didn't know that fucking <laughs> Christ I... Sorry. anyway 16 year old orphan so this 16 year old who doesn't have parents <laughs> is watching color. us and thinking about having a family and <laughs> and we're <laughs> and I think his last words were hey is that Bert <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this tree falls on this poor kid kid now yeah. um but bert was saying that there had to have been a point where he's okay but there had to have been a point where you said that we marked that when the saints go marching in oh, started fuck. playing oh fuck <laughs> he's like, That's it. this I'm kid is heaven. like i'm out <laughs> i'm going to heaven the saints are coming marching in i'm going home mama like, are we the saints marching in? Yes, yeah, because so we are not. None of us are saintly. I was like, this is so fucking funny. Did you say that on stage last night, though? I did. I did. Oh, yeah. good. And I regretted it too because I thought I thought there's a family with a child in a hospital bed trying to recover, mm -hmm. and then and then someone's like, "Hey, Bert Kreischer was in town. There's a clip from his show. I think he's talking about you." So I was like, I was like, why do I fucking do that? I I, I actually felt bad about it. So I was like. That well, was my okay, kid. Though. Yeah, yeah, but not. He's in critical. He's uh, not. No. Well, he didn't have to. All right, we'll see what happens. I heard he was thirteen. <laughs> I heard. I heard the tree started it. The <laughs> <laughs> maybe he had a roundhouse to tree and the tree won. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? These hey, fucking trees like, are out of control these days. I, I there was a there was a bunch of uh, <laughs> Greenpeace protesters there. I don't know. Whatever. Nah. <laughs> um. The whales are fine. No, but but I love I love uh, Georgia was like, and then the guy put my I ordered a beer, and then we ordered three of the uh, bamboozled or whatever, the drinks, the har hardcore drinks, and he put mine in front of Georgia, and Georgia looked around, and and she looked at me, and I was I was like I don't know, and then she looked at Leanne, and she goes, and took a sip, and Leanne goes, what are you doing? She was like, he put it in front of me. And then <laughs> and then and then then they fucking Daisy and Georgia told Leanne the drinking age was 18. She goes, Well, if the drinking age is 18, you can definitely drink. And they're like, Great. They just so they told her that. Yeah. So they got two drinks Great. and then they got hurricanes at the next bar. And then that night they're like, the drinking age isn't 18. And Leanne's like, it's not. They've been drinking all day. Oh man. Jay, get in here. Where? Sit where I'm sitting. No, There's a million chairs we can pull out here. Getting a Cardinals chair. God, my taint is like so fucking crowded. No, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go do sound check. Go. I gotta go do sound check. So you people here. do that? Yeah, I can do Nobody sound check. Sound I also, check. He does hey, sound check. Hold on. Can you stop introducing me as a DJ? You fuck face. What else am I gonna say? Puerto Rican? No, comedian. Why don't any of you respect wait, wait, my comedy? Wait, wait, wait. 
What? Wait, when do you, when does he announce you? He so he in, in, just to his parents as the DJ. Oh, oh. <laughs> thank right, you, Bert. I'll see you. I'll Next see time I enter the thank you, Rose Carter Cruise, I'll say, hey, the porn Love star. You. Love you, buddy. <laughs> hey, sorry, it won't happen again there. All right, we'll see you out there, buddy. Well, Mark, welcome to your first rap beef, dog. <laughs> I know, right? What song did you guys listen to in the shower today? Mine was Ain't Nobody by Shaka Khan. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I haven't showered today. Oh, like, oh, ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. nobody. I got to rest Doesn't my fucking voice. You talk, talk Rosebud. Okay, all right. I still got a shower. Yeah, yeah, me too. Both of you haven't well, showered? Guys, fucking, trust me, we're going to be fine. Do you guys I also haven't do, showered today. Do you guys want to all listen to Ain't Nobody in the shower so we could all have the same experience today? The really showers dope. are open. There's no curtains or anything. Really? Oh, I love those showers. What? Right what? The, the ones here in this in this yeah. facilities? It's like a public high school. You, Bert, you were together? you were born the huh? tour, dude. Yeah, I know. You were born this. If you don't mind your own public nudity, touring's easy. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> touring like this. I love it. I have to go to the hotel room so I can live in my shame for an hour. <laughs> Shower in a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Turn away from mirrors and what have you. <laughs> Just wait until everything's all fogged up before you even go in there. Get dressed in the dark and hoping matches. Mean old, mean old stanky dump. <laughs> yeah. There's no way I'm going to take it here. I can't take a shit in public either. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, why not? I, I love, I love the more than anything. Shit? No, to find the perfect toilet to oh. take a shit. That's sure. the, the best. perfect toilet are so like a secret one. No, 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 no. Sometimes so you need a low, a low toilet. So when you play at the basketball arenas, all the toilets are like four feet tall. So you feel like you're on top of a fucking horse, <laughs> and yeah, so your legs like, don't like, touch the ground. Yeah. When you find a good low fitting toilet, and the outside toilets, I shot out there today, and it was a horrible shit. They're high toilets. Outside, toilets? outside the, in the stadium. Oh, uh, uh, it's kind of like jerking off when there's people around. You know, when you got like uh, the door locked, you're alone, no one's coming by. That's a good rub out. Yeah. Oh, you know, full volume. You're when you're at a parade, yeah, that's, that's a little tricky. That's tougher. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what do you think? How have, how have you enjoyed showering your body since it's gotten bigger? I really don't like enjoy it at all. At all. It sucks. It mm -hmm. sucks. No, I've been saying this that I I'm a fat man for the first time in my life. Oh. And it's I've oh. I gotta say it makes me feel better about being pregnant knowing that fat guys live like this all the time. It makes it feel <laughs> a little less unfair. But <clears throat> the but it's I haven't it doesn't feel like I can take a smooth shit for like the last six months. I haven't I haven't taken one smooth shit. There's always upper lip sweat. There's always always Wait. if you guys didn't have which ha which hair, lips? Oh oh I see. yeah oh yeah well who you know knows? Yeah lip? yeah honestly you thought you were pussy lips. <laughs> 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 what, what sideways pussies are you looking at? I like at? Asians. <laughs> so I'm literally like, I just feel like the whole, it, it's not enjoyable. I really miss my waist. I don't like, I'm supposed to feel like empowered by this. But Your empathy is going to be great though. When someone goes, look at Jay Umberto's fat shits. And you go, hey, those are people. Yeah. <laughs> <It'd be nice. laughs> those guys haven't taken a smooth shit in six months. Yeah. Is it true that urine comes out randomly? That's true after I've heard. Oh, after the preg. Yeah. Oh, if, gotcha. if you give birth vaginally, I think that's true. If you get a C-section, you're pretty much Are you going untouchable natural? down there. Are you going to do a special while you're pregnant? I am. Are you really? I'm going to shoot an hour. Yeah, I'm going to shoot an hour. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to shoot an hour. You should just co do like a cover do set of Ali Wong's. No, yeah, call it the Wong side of history. <laughs> 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 you, should, you definitely have to call it. Tiger jelly or whatever. Uh, <laughs> I just do it. It's like it's a cover set. <laughs> Tiger jelly. <laughs> I feel like, um, I mean, that's the thing. I There's all this material that you come up with pregnant that I get why people shoot their specials pregnant. Because it's like, when else are you going to use the material? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's all like. There's no uh, your hormones other... aren't out of whack. It fe you know, and it's like it sucks because I think people look at women and they go like, "Oh, another pregnant special." And it's like, well, there's a lot of women comics, and you can get pregnant and you can shoot a special, and it's not a big fucking deal. You know what I mean? But because it hadn't been done, and then all of a sudden it was done, there's like a part of you as a comic that goes like, "Is this hacky?" Like, you know what I mean? There's sure. a part of you that goes like. Is this a gimmick? But it's just material that you're not going to fucking use. 
So I was like, I'll oh, shoot true. the I'll shoot the hour. I'll put it somewhere. I don't know. And I'll figure out what to do with it once I'm once I've shot it and I'm not like insane anymore. We need an abortion special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one's done that yet. Yeah. Like one day before it. Yeah. Little guy's still in there. Yeah. <laughs> do like a before and after. Yeah. You do it on stage. Yeah. Let's give him a Viking send off, everybody. You just call it the closer. Yeah. Can I tell you my idea I had? Then you leave. Yeah. You just turn into your the audience and go in the stirrups. <laughs> oh. And then a guy puts in a doctor's mask and goes behind the curtain. Curtain closes. That's probably off it, Broadway in a month. And then you end it crying like every other special that's been shot in the <laughs> yeah. last fucking year. You know? I loved yeah, right. I, I did my last special pregnant. And uh, <laughs> at least it felt like it. That was the heaviest I've ever been for a special. After the uh, abortion special, eight years later, you should do a special called He Would Have Been Eight This Year. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that would have been. And then talk, talk about the things that you didn't do with them. Yeah, well, nah. long play. He goes, I've been on a lot of vacations. Probably wouldn't happen if that fucker was around. Right. <laughs> you just... do, you're, do, you, do you know uh, what you're going to name your do your child? Yes. Yeah. It's my daughter. I've, I've said. I, okay, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't. No, I've, I, uh, trust me. You ever. Uh, what? The fucking <laughs> cunt friends we have in comedy. We're like, it's so insane. But you'll be like, like, uh, you know, yeah. You, Oh, thank you so much. Hey, Georgia. Yeah. I was telling I was telling them how you and Daisy convinced mom the drinking age was 18 yesterday. That was you. It was not all me. All right. Hey, what about me? Do I get a coffee? Do you want one? Yeah. Can I get one, too? Yeah. Could I also have one? Yeah. Okay, I'll be back. And Georgia, a cup of ice, please. A cup of ice, please. Thank you. Yeah, truly. Georgia May. So, Georgia May. I think yep. we might have one down here, actually. Oh, thank you. Wait, what was I going to... Oh, yeah, yo, no, no, like, there's dudes in this business, like, this is so frustrating, where you are... I don't, I don't know the right way to say this. You are equally as famous as they are, and you'll say something very casual, like, uh, hey, did you get, you get a, you got a new car, your, your wife's pregnant, are you excited about having a kid or something? And then they'll be like, yo fucking edit that out and you're like okay and then you're like and so i'm really careful i've had friends Wait, of mine why edit are, that out they're like i dude i have no people it's too vulnerable. you know this this business oh, changes people, people worry, yeah. in the worst way when you start this business we're all cool and then as people get success people change drastically and they turn into the thing that they mocked when they were younger oh yeah and 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 all of a sudden you're looking at this person going and you've lost your mind. Oh yeah, you've you've lost your mind. I know mind. people who are married with children who publicly don't make a note of either. It's pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's crazy. So I didn't. I guess I kind of get it that they if they just never wanted anybody to like know that they're married or they're that's just the nature of their maybe it's like the nature of their act or something. But at that point, you're doing a character, right? Like, yeah. in a way, it's not a character. I think you're just like not. They're just getting like uh, like one facet of like who you are, right? But yeah, I guess that's that's more accurate. Show them yeah. the mask. I can't wait to get to that level. Hide just, something in your I'm life. Just telling people like, could you edit that shit out? I don't want people knowing that I had a kid. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll know I had sex. My image is ruined. It's like in your set, and you're like, <laughs> you just not in my giving podcast. Shit though, anyway, you know? like yeah. I don't mind. Like I I. I am envious that Tom was wise enough to not uh, put his kids on Instagram. Yeah, like that's mm. pretty smart. Now, in hindsight, so. I but I I didn't have that luxury because I was just a regular person when Instagram showed up, and so I only followed the people I grew up with, and they followed me, and then and I wasn't like I didn't have like a big fan base, and then I, so I posted pictures of my kid, my kids, yeah, and I talked about it on stage, and then. And then that, I wish I could put that toothpaste back in the tube. But, oh, really? but, but I've had fucking crazy. Uh, yeah, dude. I've had crazy it. conversations with fucking f dudes I've known that when, I mean, I, and I, 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 I would never name names, and it's never the name you think it is. And I know people are going to speculate, but like crazy conversations with people where you're like, huh? Like, right. what? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're not, let's not be real on this podcast. You're single still. Well, right. Yeah. In the nature of being real, I want you to know that 
uh, I've never heard the term put the toothpaste back in the tube before. Yeah, I was still I stuck love on it. that too. I'm going to use it <laughs> and you'll never get credit for it. You never heard that? No it's, it's been said many times. Oh, no, no. I made it up. I don't think you invented it. I don't think you invented it. I'm just saying I'll never be like, heard Bert say that one time. It sounded awesome. Now I use it. I would just be like, oh, yeah, it's, it's came up with one. I'm like, it's a pretty well-known phrase. I heard it somewhere. Or it's I like, edit that out. <laughs> edit that out. I made it up. I love that Liquid Death has tall boys. You probably notice these tall boys sitting in the bottled water section in your local store. Well, it's not beer. It's actually a healthy beverage called Liquid Death. Why are they called liquid death? Because their tall boys will brutally murder your thirst. And their infinitely recyclable cans are helping bring death to plastic bottles. Plastic bottles aren't actually recyclable. And they just get sent to landfills, even if you put them in your recycling bin. Because they're not profitable to recycle. Liquid death, on the other hand. First of all, let's just talk about what's in it. And I want to share my what, what I love about hydration. Cleans out your body, lowers your blood pressure. That's all you need to know. Cleans out your body, lowers your blood pressure. Those are two facts. It's the reason I started drinking Liquid Death. I started drinking Liquid Death. I had, a, I had, they, I met them on the road. They dropped off some cans, and I remember saying, "Why would I get a can of water? I was just get a glass of water or, or a growler." And then I sat with a twelve pack next to my recliner, and I was taking my blood pressure, and I noticed that as I got more hydrated, my blood pressure lowered. I swear to God, and it's because I can murder these. I'm being serious. Watch. You can find Liquid Death's healthy beverages on Amazon or at a retailer near you. And Burkhouse listeners get 20% off their first Liquid Death apparel purchase available exclusively at liquiddeath.com slash Burt. Exclusions may apply. That's liquiddeath.com slash Burt. Gooder makes $25 active sunglasses that do not slip, do not bounce, and are 100% polarized. And only $25. I first found uh, Gooder at a running store. And... I had a pair of expensive glasses, uh, the high-end brands. I only bought one pair of sunglasses. I ran the LA Marathon, and I spent the entire time doing this. The entire time, they just slid down my face. They were heavy, polarized lenses, but the frame was slick, and I got a pair of Gooders. I ran the, I ran, I did a triathlon in the water, on a bike, and then the run, and I used Gooders, and they didn't move once. I didn't even know I had them on. They are such a great sunglass. They're lightweight. By the way, also, they're $25. That is the number one selling point of these sunglasses. They're $25. So if you do take them out in the ocean and they fall in a thing, you're not losing your mind. They're lightweight, and I love how comfortable you go, they are. You can wear them all day. You won't even realize you have them on. I have a few pair that I have in rotation. Um, I have I keep them out by the beach. Anytime I'm going to do anything active, these are my sunglasses. And i got to be honest with you, I have so many pairs. They're my sunglasses, sunglasses, sunglasses. I have extra set in my car. I have two sitting in my tour bus. I keep them in my backpack. They're always releasing new colors and collabs so you can lay low or get wild. If you want to support the show and pick up a pair, Gooder is giving Birdcast listeners free shipping on your first order. You can go to Gooder.com slash Burt and use code Burt to get free shipping. Gooder offers a 30-day money-back guarantee and 100% satisfaction. Find your pair at Gooder.com slash Burt and use code Burt to get free shipping. <laughs> that's my favorite move to have you ever had people edit out of a podcast what have I ever that's a really bad question yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I killed a man no, the only yeah. time I was asked if I wanted to was when I cried on Brian Koppelman's podcast he was uh, like uh, uh, no wait. that is my favorite podcast that I've ever listened to that was a great episode that was my favorite podcast I've ever listened to but I never uh, it? no but oh I, it's killing my God, so I was 34 and broke. <laughs> just like, yeah. I, just, I was just talking about how I just never pictured kind of being that broke when I started. Yeah. I was like, I figured like, I'll oh, figure it out. And uh, so it was just like a real moment. But when we were walking to the train afterwards, he goes, hey man, if you want me to like edit that out or not put the episode out, like I could do I, I could do that. And I was like, no, why? And he was like, I don't know, you got like emotional. I go, oh no, no, no. I'm like, dude, if one of my comedian friends told me that happened and then was like so i but i had him get rid of it i go i'd be furious with them i go why would you rob us of that and, oh and we it, made fun of it, it, it i mean made fun it of made it. the round the next step no the next episode <laughs> the next episode of legion of skanks everybody sent a video like making fun of me from all over like, like i think nate burned a hundred dollar bill in his house uh ari shafir uh had a dog lick his ass while he showed his billboard on time on a uh, sunset. Jesus Christ. Oh, damn. Joe's let Joe List sent one. Like, yeah, it was but it was fucking hilarious. Yeah. It was all great. 
I had. No, no, I'm not that like touchy about shit like 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 the ball bust of anything. Like yeah. it doesn't bother me. I used to. I I still edit. Uh, I bleep <laughs> name. <laughs> I always bleep it. Like if his name ever comes up, we just bleep it. Why? Because he would love to know he would love for to be mentioned on a podcast oh, okay and so the fact that he even when he is mentioned and we talk really nice of me and of him he he'd never knows it's him he's gonna, he's gonna be bleeped out here he's gonna be bleeped i've never in my life Rosebud, heard can I that your what's that <laughs> <laughs> These are ruining this neighborhood <laughs> i took a i took an ice plunge today i could feel my <laughs> inside my own self there's this one sketch that never got on the show that i saw when because you when you get like when you get on the show you can see all the sketches that never made it so i was like watching those and the rock did this sketch it's one of the funniest fucking things i've ever seen it's like and i think dennis wrote it anyway it was like a bunch of evil masterminds coming up with their evilest creation, like whoever wins like the evilest creation or whatever. And he like creates a robot. Like there's like one guy that uh, he's like, this will, this will like fire, this will make somebody's head blow up or this will make whatever. And then it gets to the rock and the rock's like, I created this robot and uh, he molests children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and everybody's just like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You know? And he's like, you guys said, the evilest invention, <laughs> and I made this robot that will molest a child. And it's like, <laughs> I can't believe anybody ever wrote it for the show, but I'm like, it'd be, I'm like, fuck, if we could make shit like that. Yeah. You, know? you could have at a you? point. Yeah. I think it probably made it to like dress. They like uh, almost did it. And like, then, I don't yeah, even fully understand it. the shit that like Tiffany got with Ari Spears. As, I, I mean, I saw that, but it just seems like a bad sketch. It was it's like, a bad sketch. But to make the point of it, it's like, what does it mean? Like they're pedophiles because yeah, it was bad. I didn't even see it. That was a bummer. I didn't see it. I think she got through it. Yeah. 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 She's here. Oh, for sure. Yeah. She's getting standing ovations. I don't think. Any, yeah. I don't. I definitely. My fans didn't see it. Yeah, but the South. No. The South <laughs> loves pedophilia, dude. They'll yeah. stand and cheer for one. <laughs> Elvis dog. <laughs> Sherry Lee. That Lewis. is crazy. That that is that like there are hardcore passes on pedophilia. Elvis. Jerry Lee Lewis, Led Zeppelin, Elvis, Elvis Wait, Led Zeppelin were, were pedos. Well, they were just fucking fourteen-year-olds in hotels. I said the internet was around. The, both fourteen. If you get the internet was around uh, the fifties, no, no. Elvis things. was in the army. So he was what, <laughs> fucking no, he was like 20. Or, 20 or, something, yeah. I do watch all those pedophiles uh, things. It'd be funny if uh, the pedophiles if it was in the fifties and they catch Elvis. Oh man, I knew it was a setup. Like all the things that the pedophiles shit. always say when they get caught. Oh shit! Man. Oh, we're just coming here to tell her you should go home and just not do this on the internet. <laughs> did you see that movie, Elvis? I did. Yeah. It was. I loved it. It was like great. Fever dream. I mean, I Tom it. Hanks oh, is yeah. is bad. I didn't love it. Yeah. <laughs> that accent was atrocious. Yeah. I actually didn't like. It was like it was like, like a it. music video. It just it, it was too much. It was long and moved too fast. Like it was no insight into anything. But the kid did a good job, I thought. The Elvis kid? Yeah, Austin then that Butler. jerk off became yeah. it. Did you know that? Huh? Did you see all that stuff? Like, he became it. Oh, he's one like, of he those became, guys? But it's very, like, uh, they show interviews with him a year before making the movie. And he's just like, oh, it's good to be here in uh, Hollywood. And, blah, and now he's like, oh, man. Thank you all so much for coming oh, to see no. the movie. He dice played it. <laughs> yeah. He went all the way. All, all the way. That's the worst. He I... pompadours his hair. The guy seems like a real jag. Did you ever see the uh, the Jim Carrey Andy Kaufman doc? Oh, that was brutal. Oh, like like loving Jim Andy. Carrey. Yeah, yeah. Judd, still like Judd Hirsch wanted to punch him in his face. <laughs> yeah. He said Andy oh, Kaufman yeah. like possessed his body. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, dude, we're at we're at crafty. Nah, but I believe it. Andy Kaufman possesses all our bodies from time to time. <laughs> nah, I don't know who Andy Kaufman is. <laughs> oh, you don't know who Andy Kaufman is? Only because I saw that that whole like thing with Jim Carrey where they were just like, yeah, yeah. he got really annoying. He's uh, one of the. So annoying. He's one of the like iconic guys that i genuinely don't even semi get really really i love it i really? love it too yeah I, I didn't like well if it makes sense not so much to like, like Wait, the wrestling stuff Jim Carrey? i Andy even Coffin. like him okay. now that he's lost it i like him the wrestling what do you mean lost like it? you know he's like a little kooky who oh you're talking about jim, jim carrey no, oh no, not jim carrey Coffin. who are you jim talking carrey, about Coffin? andy Kaufman. oh yeah Icons. i don't really get that yeah, I don't, i've never understood and when they tell you i remember when i first got in the danger fields <laughs> the guy uh tony who owned it he was like, did you ever hear this story, Andy Kaufman's audition here? 
He's like, no, he goes, he came in the afternoon and he set up on the stage like congas everywhere. And then he uh he goes, and then he left for hours and came back for his like showcase to audition. Everybody else had to perform amongst these congas. And he goes, he gets on stage, he introduces the congas, and then walks off stage. And he's like, and I mean, just stories like that, you know? <laughs> like, what stories like that are hard? Like, I don't what know. a jerk Stories off. like that go nowhere. But uh. his Elvis thing was great. I thought the, the Mighty Mouse thing. That's also not necessarily his fault. That's like the guy who told you that story's fault. Yeah, the but I'm, that, you're not wrong. I'm not saying he didn't do anything, like some of the character stuff, but like his like stage performance, I thought was kind of horseshit. Well, the craziest thing he did, I read his book because I'm a nerd, but he he's a vegan who didn't drink or smoke. And then he would do this character called Tony Clifton. Yeah. And he cursed, drank a bunch of scotch, would eat steaks and smoke. And he would just say the N word and crazy shit. He would dress up, but he totally got lost in it. So he was a complete psycho. Yeah. We had Zamuda do it for the crowd work. Oh, show. really? At the thing, and I mean, went end bomb nice and quick. I've yeah, I've yeah, heard he, that about him. Yeah, he went <laughs> out the gates, <laughs> <laughs> bombs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like well, I, that's true. I guess with Kaufman, I get why people liked him, but I don't. I don't get it. You know what I mean? Like it's like one of those things where it's like, so when you watch it, are you like, oh, I get why this appeals to people but it doesn't appeal to me or are you just like, I just don't, is it just, I, I don't even fucking get it. I don't get, but I also felt the same way about like Robin Williams, like his comedy. What? I thought he was an amazing actor. Yeah, I kind so. of agree with him. I loved him like in acting, comedy. but I, his, uh, his, his standup wasn't great, but I think just the, the riffing ability. It, it, it's like, do you think it was riffing? Th I do. I, 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 I didn't think it was riffing, but I actually don't think it was like, <laughs> it was just like, on, it was just fast. It was, right. it was it was so on the nose, you know what I mean? Like he walked down the street and a black guy goes, hey man, what would it be looking like? And then uh, Fong Choi on the corner is like, oh, then there's a gay guy like, oh, so girl, get out of here. Right. He just does that for like 45 minutes. Yeah. Like him as Aladdin, the genie, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. I like Mrs. Doubtfire. No, Amazing. I respect, uh, I, think, I think he was a, a tremendous actor, drama, comedy. It's not that, I don't think he didn't have a, wasn't a talented guy, just like, the direction of his stand-up for me, I just never understood. I like Gallagher more than that. Gallagher had some uh, great Gallagher stuff. Good wordplay. Yeah. <laughs> Gallagher, Gallagher was funny. Well, because it was, you know, there was still 50 minutes of jokes before he brought out the sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was, He. I remember. Uh, I got nothing to say about Gallagher. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> Real, why? This I, is I, I, unfamiliar. I never watched him. I never really Oh, I He's Gallagher's from baby. Tampa. <laughs> yeah. He's from Tampa. Is he? So he went to Plant High School. I think, and I graduated with Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey. I think Gallagher and Steve Garvey are the same age because my friend's mom dated place, Steve, Steve, Steve Garvey. Who's Steve Garvey? He's baseball oh Steve, Steve. He's a baseball player. He played uh, for the Dodgers, the uh, Padres. Uh, he was a Hall of Fame baseball player, and um, and I <laughs> and I remember meeting Steve Garvey, and I said to him, "Hey." My buddy's mom dated you in high school. And he said, really? And I said, yeah. It was her claim to fame. And I said my buddy's mom's name. And he said, I don't really remember her. And I said, you went to, you're from, Tam you're from Tampa. And he was like, yeah, I think this is how it went down. And then Steve Garvey said to me, you know, a lot of times I get confused with Steve Harvey. Do you think it was Steve Harvey? <laughs> <laughs> I went. I started laughing so hard, and I went, it's definitely not Steve Harvey. <laughs> she definitely didn't date Steve Harvey in high school. And, but it, I laughed so hard to Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey from Tampa, someone Google that. To go back him to the Gallagher. Jim Carrey thing, you know, I think he was badass in The Mask. But, you know, I think, I think people don't give Jim Carrey enough credit for Bruce Almighty. That's like the one time he was like an average was guy, great. but still super goofy. Yeah, yeah, he was still no, he was still cooking when that came out. Yeah. I think like at the time that me, came out, old mighty smiter. I don't know if like on the look back, people see me, much, myself, but that was, and like, Irene fun... didn't get the love. I thought that, that one was great. fucking badass. Yeah, it was just love. he went bad shit. So it's like he yeah, just, he, really yeah, he did. like paints now. Jim Carrey. I mean, it's just if you hear him, why is that like a sign of him going bad shit? Well, yeah. and that, the no, painting is painting. I mean, somebody's got to check on. No, but he's kind of right because it's like too much like. He's too he, artsy he's like now. He's very super serious about his painting and stuff. He's just like a guy who was 
Painting's a red Famous flag. Famous for like talking out of his ass. Cheeks Hitler, and stuff. Hunter Biden. It's an odd thing that he's like yeah, so yeah. serious now. And I don't think. But he don't like... you think after being that on for that long, that the only rational thing to have happen is for somebody to go fuck this and swing the complete opposite yeah, direction? Yeah, if you're I mean, shit, he's you like, have to make a complete like emotional painting, shift. Crazy. Painting isn't that bad. The fact that he's painting. While giving this like whimsical speech, but he was batshit before. You yeah, know what but, I mean? but I don't like, like the you're, whimsical. You're saying if so. he's if you're batshit, then you have to swing back to be that crazy. It's like well, I don't think he has to make. I don't think he has to make. It's just he's far removed. I think like I think he just I got think tired. If, I think if the equivalent of an Ace Ventura movie came out now and you asked him about it, he'd be like silly. It's just probably silly. yeah. Well, but it's like silly stuff. Probably, but like, that's what I'm saying because he was so on for so long. It's like that's exhausting. If I, I was him, I'd be like. Well, his yeah. girlfriend killed him herself also. Oh, shit. I, I didn't think that's that. what led to oh, the painting. Oh, he can paint all he wants now then. There's a lot you of, yeah. Want. There's a lot of trauma there. Yeah. And, yeah that's got so. a blame for it, right? Yeah, well, he gave her herpes, apparently. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Somebody stop me. Wait, for real? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's for real? I mean, that's what... <laughs> the story behind it? And TMZ they blamed said, him? No Allegedly. Brand. TMZ <laughs> blamed herpes... Yeah, give it a and Goog. Jim Carrey. This is all very public knowledge. That's the biggest reach I've ever heard in my life, even for TMZ. That's a huge reach. Well, he also reach. did Jenny McCarthy. He gave her herpes. Or do you think her awesome bush stopped it? Oh, did she have a bush? Yeah, yeah Mark, famously, she has a bush. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who invited the cherry? <laughs> I didn't know she had a bush. Hey, yeah, Mark. I think Jenny Who was McCarthy a bush in the 90s? Bush. Pretty famously. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Man, I regret <laughs> I, I regret <laughs> backtracking and bringing Jim Carrey back up now. We were so past the Jim Carrey <laughs> thing. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Jay. Uh, She's never done it a bush she, in one picture her entire naked career. Pull him up. I want to see this bush. Pete, am Wasn't I she, cr- she worked for PETA, what? right? You got to have a bush to work for PETA. Bush yeah. Gore. Yeah, an armpit hair. You got to do a. Jenny McCarthy is cousins with Melissa McCarthy. No. No. Also a Bush. They're cousins. Damn. All right. The Melissa, you know, the actress. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can all see the resemblance. (laughs) You know, I've told this story before, but they both have Bush. Very interesting. (laughs) Melissa McCarthy. um, uh, Liam was at a party, and she had just met one of their agents. And her agents were like, um, listen, you can, why are they all, does she get? Uh, Is that the bush? Uh, Manage settings. Oh, uh, God. Uh, off. Jeez. And then, oh, back. Lord. There we go. Oh, yeah, she has a. Really? She has a bush. Pass it down there, Rosie. Yep. Whoa, <laughs> that bush is as dark as a. <laughs> it's a real <laughs> forest down there. <laughs> Wait, what's crazy is <laughs> the perception. <laughs> no, what's crazy is. Hold on, what was I gonna say? I don't know what I was gonna say. Bush. No, no. N word. N word. Oh, you're getting around. A way around saying the N word, but you're still saying the N word. <laughs> it's, well, that's it's, what the N word is. It's just not saying the N word. The N word is is a cheat code to, to, to say. That. It's such a fucked up cheat Thank code. You. It's not a cheat code. code. It's that's stupid. A bit. Thank yeah. you. Bit about how you're making me think it. Yeah, you just say it. Yeah. It's like you're 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 saying the N word, and I you're making me think it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm ruining that bit. I'm not no, racist, no, no. everyone. That's Just listen to Shaka Khan in the shower. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. And then there's also... Speaking of... Oh, what's, uh, is Brian Simpson coming on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. I miss that guy. Summer is right around the corner, and the sun shines brighter your skin... Deserves the utmost attention. Fortunately, our friends at Caldera Lab are here to ensure your skin is well prepared for the season ahead. Ever since I incorporated Caldera Lab into my routine, taking care of my skin has never been simpler. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you I moisturize every night or that I clean my face, 
But what I do use is their under eye cream. I think it's called the Icon, and it's fucking awesome. That's the only part I notice in my skin that I like. If I don't get enough sleep, it puffs up, and I just look tired. And that drives me nuts. That's the first thing that you signal to someone when you talk to them. They're like, ooh, this guy's not doing so hot. Caldera Lab creates high-performance men's skincare products, and the regimen leads a product lineup. A twice-a-day routine to transform your skin. Inside this bundle, you're going to find the clean slate, the base layer, and the good. They have an eye serum called the Icon. I told you, that's all I use. I love it. I keep it in my pocket. It addresses the three most common concerns around the eyes. Fine lines, dark circles, and puffiness. Get 20% off with our exclusive link at calderalab.com. That's 20% off by going to calderalab.com. Elevate your skincare game. This summer with Caldera Lab. This is a bad time to bring up uh, Bruce Bruce on the tour next weekend. Uh, oh, Bruce Bruce is with us. Yeah, yeah. Next is weekend. he? Yeah. Awesome. Whoa, he yeah. kills. I've never seen him in my life before. Lavelle Crawford awesome. might be the hardest kill in comedy. Uh, buddy. Have you seen this guy live? It's unreal. No. Oh, my God. He's the funniest. Yeah. Google Lavelle Crawford when you get back to the hotel or the bus. His bit about uh, going to the supermarket with his mom. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that one. Incredible. He, he says Bert, those shorts yes. are really snagging your beans, dude. I know. These are. I walked are, in, I was like, good lord. That's I mean, the same hammock they had uh, Judd in. These are from uh, Bert Soren. It's like your shorts are out of breath. Bert Soren does all the weight, weight, all the weight equipment that you see in there, all the ones in all the college. So he makes dorms. sexy shorts for and him. He, and he, these are called silkies. They're, I think, silkies. Bert was in the Marines or something, or he's like military. I think, but uh, in the in the Marines, this is the workout pants they give you. They're oh. called silkies. He has the navy. Though. I guess the gavy got involved. Huh? Fucking so fun so to wear. Yeah. I love them. I love them more than anything. Is my favorite. But they're extre- They're silk. They're silk, and you can see your dick pretty clear. He yeah. was a Marine, or I think Bert Soren was, or he's just a tough dude. I think I think it's crazy though that. He started his own line of shorts after being like a military guy. He was just like, these just aren't comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, we need silkies. more comfort. In uh, dude, every you can get silkies. <laughs> he's, like, he's sewing silk, and then like he says, flashback. <laughs> <laughs> he's it's got his signature mustache on the side. Oh, this guy's up. I mean, Bert. Flaming This guy's giving you all the signals, man. I want something to do. some silk shorts with my mustache on them. (laughs) Yeah. What more does he have to do? These don't squeeze my nuts. Uh, Hey, Bert, can you send them some silkies so that they can enjoy these pants just as much as I do? Yeah. I have. I I talked about them. I talked about them. His his company's called Sornex. If you need great workout equipment, they, they did Joe's gym. They did my gym. They did like University of Florida's. Florida State's, Alabama's, Notre Dame's. They do every fucking gym. I'm going to look like uh, it's pretty much going to be Gunt and Dickhead <laughs> in that thing. The worst in, radio team, by the way. Gunt, dickhead. Gunt and Dickhead in the morning. Oh. Uh, we got mattress in lanes. Oh <laughs> Manchester, Tennessee's on. Yeah. But, but they're fucking so goddamn comfortable. And I talked about it. And then he sent me uh, like. 20 pairs and it's all i have it's all i work out in send out some silkies i want to wear those to you, pride buddy you would look great in silkies i'd clean up you <laughs> would i'm gonna, gonna be- go to a, like a boot camp and then just make fun of all the soldiers wearing silkies no, oh, yeah, I'm, no I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not i just think it's funny i don't know it's just funny no it is funny it's those are you guys too sexy just- of shorts for a bunch of men to be exercising together and i just i just picture this are. guy like on his tour in iraq like and his buddies are just they're trying to get through it and they're like what are you gonna look at they look they look, hang on what are you gonna do when you make it back home and he's like i'm gonna make sure we're more comfortable in boot camp <laughs> These like are. If, I, if a guy came to my house th- for the first time to hang out and I'm answering the door trying to look sexy and casual, I'm wearing those. Yeah, like, are you European, <laughs> sir? All right, yeah. take a look at this. The guy who made these shorts is a real Todd Jesus Glass. Christ. Right? Can you send me that? Right. Whoa, Marines this guy's a real. What is that? Jenny McCarthy's Bush? Let me see. Machi, machi. Marines and Silkies. Look at this black dude. I That's take back everything it. bad I said about Silkies. Those things are fucking hot. Yeah. Machi. This guy's gay. Yeah. Look at this guy's junk in his I, silkies. Dude, I didn't Look at his it. dick Whoa. in his silkies. It looks like he knows the shot they're getting. Yeah. Dude, don't hog it. Not. Let me see this guy's dick. Look that guy's dick. a real Mateo Lane. Damn, dude, I'll tell you what. The, those bottoms, do they have elastic on them or something? Because I feel like it's holding something back. It's they, There's uh, there's pants inside, his underwear inside here sewn in. I made weird heavy eye contact with you there because I thought you were going to side show me your bag. <laughs> 
<laughs> I looked at you so deep. I was like, I'm not looking at your dick, Bert. This is a fun this, tour. This is a great one. Yeah. yeah. This is a fun tour. The funnest part is getting in the bus and gossiping until 4.15 in the morning. I can't believe I missed that last night. It was Come so, on. Jay was on one. Jay had <laughs> all, I woke up to a bunch of the videos we had talked about that he's like, have you seen dot, 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 and dot, dot, dot. And I was like, no. And then I woke up and I was like, wait, what's this? And then I, 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 I it's, it's insane. Jay and I were having a great time talking shit backstage. What was it? The first where in Huntsville. Oh yeah. Just talking about our group chats. <laughs> yeah. Jesus oh. Christ. Um, I just burped at the same time that he farted. This is like uh, disgusting. <laughs> it's really horrible. How good I've, was the food ooh, last night after the show? Yeah. It was good. Dude, I, that food was amazing. That's Sean Patton's family. That was show everybody. Oh, I'm trying to get rid of it. That's all crab right there. It's, don't, I, I find, find it that it's way. a very interesting thing. We'll back. Do not take this as an insult at all because uh -oh. I've had this conversation with Soder. Mm -hmm. Several people. It's an interesting to me personally, and I know what it's based off insecurity. But like I would, I would never fart in front of Rosebud if possible. Oh, on the in the weirdest like description of it, in that like I think that she would think I'm gross. For I'm her, you fine know what I mean? You think I'm gross? Right. Yeah, that's what I mean. Gross anyway. Sure. <laughs> that's all fair. Damn, you should have had a microphone for that. Oh yeah. Oh you do it again. I, I, no, no, come on. <laughs> <laughs> she said she'd fuck him. <laughs> that's a press conference. She threw pussy at me. Everybody. She's, I feel like it's a lose lose for me. If I don't fart in front of a woman, I f and, and she knows that I that I purposely didn't fart in front of a woman, I feel like she's gonna be like pussy. Right. Really? You know, if I do fart in front of a woman, then she's like, "This guy's gross." Can I tell you something? Based on Resident. based on my my all my Cuban friends growing up, my Cuban friends never had a problem farting. I'm shitting. not Cuban, by the way. I know, but no, but I was wondering, like in Mexican culture, is it okay to just fart? Like in your house, would you just fart? I don't know. Because my parents didn't fart. Like they weren't like like Mark Norman's parents do not seem like farters. My grandpa no, would fart. That's my dad'll rip ass. Really? Yeah. yeah. My step pop was like a fart in the house person. I'm not even talking about like in the house or something. I'm talking about just like in front of a girl. Yeah, I was always I'm surprised how many guys fart in front of Christine. <laughs> I yeah. always say that. I'm always like, damn, that's not weird for you, but like I'll tell you black. I, she doesn't overly give a shit at all either. It's not her, but I'm just like, I think it's a weird thing. I got mean farts yeah. and mean shits. I know people don't believe me because of how skinny I am, but they're bad. Start ripping some farts. I nah, haven't heard anything from you. No, trust me. They're silent. Oh, got it. Yeah. I only fart loud That's at the airport. Bad. I did the Ghetto Boys podcast and I farted and they were like, whoa, they had to cut. They were like, whoa, you don't do that. That's white people shit or whatever. And I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Like they, so, got, they got they so got they got they got weird and i was saying all kinds of horrible shit they're like i shot four people i fucked this dude oh, whatever dude. i raped a guy in jail then i farted like that's over the line they're like that's enough <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me, me and joe the rose and kareem green did a gig uh many years ago and the rose didn't at the time fully get that black people don't joke like that so much and the rose came out of the shower which is something i would have just laughed at i mean bending over and spreading his asshole oh kareem would not trying to fart and i was kareem not enjoying it but while joe was laughing at kareem not he didn't see how much kareem wasn't liking it he's like laughing at it and while he's laughing he shit a little turd onto the ground and kareem was like they argued the entire drive back to new york <laughs> that is pretty the, the shitting on the ground is that's pretty wild. fucking disgusting gross, yeah. no, no it was a lot for sure so i'm saying it was already gross. showing the asshole was already that's gross gonna no make it a weird thing are. but if you're joe DeRosa, like i don't want to see anybody's asshole open asshole but and i would say this directly to joe i really don't want to see joe's open asshole yeah, it's not the worst asshole in comedy. Come but. on, he owns a sandwich shop. Yeah, it's not oh, a good, it can't Ari be a good one. Ari Shafir's got, oh, that's a bad He's got a problem, asshole. yeah. How do you know? What well, What is it? Exactly. Why did I say, how do you know? Uh, oh, you can see, you see it on the internet. Yeah, exactly. Like, legitimately, it's... it's Google Jew Clam. You've never seen any of his... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Google that. <laughs> you Google that. Aggressive. That's a wild asshole. Super wild. You've never and seen he, him do things like Ari pulls out T like tissue or uh, oh, the bloody paper tissue. towels from his uh, ass crack that have blood all over them, puts them like, on people's shoulders and shit. It's, he yeah. also has uh, hemorrhoids. I've asked him. Well, I assumed when he said that's one of those things tissue. that I preemptively asked him. So I think he will abide by that. I go, dude, never do the asshole bloody thing on me. Like, I'll throw, like, I just, just don't You'll do it, please, ever. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, so I'm asking you preemptively, don't ever do that. Yeah. 
And That's... he hasn't. But I've seen him do it to Lewis and just put it on his shorts. He'll put it in your face. He'll put it, try to put it in your mouth. Ugh. Yeah, well, he thinks it's funny. So that's I... all that matters. <laughs> it's not not funny from like a million miles away. Sure. He's uh, he's done it a number of times to me. And really? Like, and I have no rebuttal. I have no way to get him back because I don't have anything. And really right, shit my hand him. and yeah. wipe you it squeeze your colostomy bag at him. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, yeah, he... He has to shove wads of toilet paper up his ass, or he'll bleed down his leg. Damn. Yeah, he's he's got some problems. Yeah, I don't know why he just doesn't go to a doctor and get it fixed. I think Hello. He can... Hello. Maybe it's a crazy, painful Speaking surgery. Speaking of bloody assholes, here's Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That um, is, the show started already. Are the show starting, Leanne? I got a shower. Oh, oh it's six forty right now. I gotta get. All right, we should wrap this up. Seven. Well, we should wrap this up. I still have to finish a workout. Uh, and we don't have a lineup at all. And we don't have a lineup. <laughs> we got the first half, I think. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, is there anything you guys would like to say in closing? Do you have anything you would like to? When's this come out? Uh, I have no fucking idea. Before next week, I think probably next week. Ralph, say... what do you got coming up? I got more dates on the fully loaded tour with this guy named Bert Kreischer who loves to take Latins on boats <laughs> so that we could go back and tell our Latin communities, hey, I was on a boat, you know, not to not from another country, not to another country, just, 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 just here fun. in the homeland for fun. I got on a boat for fun, not for work this time. <laughs> <laughs> I do white people shit. <laughs> Watch out. I don't know. Man. Uh, Jay? Uh, my special dog belly. Watch that on YouTube. Yep, it's free. Share it. Share it. Uh, yes, Two million views it. and counting. Please share it. And uh, the Legion of Skanks doing a three city theater tour. Ooh. Uh, live podcast. Ooh. Wilbur Theater. Uh, Foxwoods. Are you calling it 85 North? And uh, we're calling it 85 <laughs> North, boys. We're going to go up there and all at the same time talk to three different people. <laughs> the uh, <coughs> and I'm on the road a bunch. BigJComedy.com. Uh, Rosebud, when are you shooting the special? Um, I'm shooting a special August 14th at the VU in New York, uh, the Village Underground, but I'm also in Milwaukee and I'm in Montreal and Providence Montreal. for JFL. Me too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. I just, just agreed you did. That's awesome. Okay. And then, uh, so Philly. What are you doing? What are you doing the show? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what no, are you doing? cleaning oh, hotels. I won comedian of the year. I'm just accepting an award. Whoa. <laughs> I'm actually just carrying like, the award like, out. Like, like I, I have been waiting to say that sometimes. <laughs> so I just li- I, I drew you into it. Are you doing a show? Like, of course he's doing a it's fucking JFL, show. JFL, though, dude. Yeah. You know it's going to be like at 3 p.m. <laughs> right. The award. When's the due date, by the way? Oh, October. Uh, 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 October for me. What about you? <laughs> October. October. Nice. Uh, I've actually lost weight. I've actually lost weight on this tour. I don't know how much, but I think I gained, I think I got, I think I broke 270, and I think I got back in the 260s. You know what I've, you right. know what I've realized as a as a new fat man? What? Is that um, <laughs> when you say, like, when you go, like, oh, I've I've lost, or I've gained weight, or I've lost weight, and then the silence that follows when your friends don't say anything, yeah. it's the most painful silence I've ever experienced in my life. It means I life. don't see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, could I redo my thing? Because I feel like I wasted mine. <laughs> Hmm? Yeah. Everybody has like dates and stuff. <laughs> yeah, please redo yours. I was your... just like, <laughs> yeah, redo yours. Uh, July twenty, 20... <laughs> July twenty first and twenty second. I'm at City Winery in Atlanta, and does your family find you funny? My family, uh, they're all right. They're in jail. <laughs> yeah, I don't, th- I don't think they find me that funny. <laughs> Mine definitely doesn't. They think I'm really dumb. You don't understand how dumb they think I am. They're like he wasn't gonna be anything, you know. I when when I got to do the American Airlines Center with Chappelle and them, yeah. I brought a lot of my family out from my mom's side and my dad's side, and at different times throughout the night, they both like people just kept telling me like, we didn't think you were gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, they just as you're doing an arena, they kept yeah, they just kept t- like I was there with my girlfriend, and they kept having these one on ones with her where they were just like. We just told him to get a job and stick to a job. Like, we didn't think he was going to make it. It's so weird when people 
don't feel the need to say that. Yeah. You could just be like, this is awesome. You definitely don't. Congrats. Have congrats is a cool word. <laughs> I mean, this is like, well, this is crazy to yeah. see this happen. My dad, my dad was the last one. He's just like, man, remember all the times I told you just go to work for me? He's like, how did you going to do it? <laughs> it's wild. That must have been cool for them to see you with Chappelle. Ah, who cares? Anyway, City Winery, Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, Ralph Barbosa 3 I think that's the thing. Mark Norman. Uh, hey, hey. Special coming out uh, the 25th on Netflix. Soup- July? Yeah. Soup to Nuts. Nice. <laughs> Spread the Great word. Title. Tour, you don't say, and you're, and you're going to Europe, and a big Ooh. theater tour all over in August. Come on out. MarkNormanComedy.com. Two some stores that might be drunk. Praise Allah. Guys, thank you very much. I'll see you in uh, Montreal. Yeah. I'll see you guys tonight. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go finish my workout. And uh, we'll figure out that lineup. Yeah, we'll figure out that lineup. All right. Love you guys. All right, later. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I got one, too. Don't even get slightly hard. It was still. silent. Oh, God. Now we got to walk with kids. Oh, my God. Woo! Bert, this is your phone. Oh, shit.